It's 24 past 11. It's a Sunday. It's a beautiful Sunday too, by the way. Check this out. I know that doesn't look so cool because of the... That's a beautiful day out there. Yes. A little bit of cloud. I like a bit of cloud though. A bit of cloud makes uh, interesting time lapses. That's why I'm in favour of clouds. Now, okay, so I did manage to fix this... Well, a little, a little update. The tape to PC that I mangled the American plug and shoved it into an Australian wall socket didn't quite go as I'd hoped. Um, it's my own stupidity. I should have checked the back of the machine because it clearly says 110 volts. And I, yeah, there's no switch to switch it to 220 to 240. It's just this unit came from Amazon. I don't know why they shipped it to Australia because you can't use it here. Not, even, even with a, a universal wall mount, it wouldn't have made a difference. I mean, the amount of current coming out of a wall socket doesn't matter if you bent the pins or if you plugged it into a correct adapter, it still would have blown the thing out. So what it did was, as you saw, it powered on for a little while and then it just shut down. Now, James, my sister's partner, he is electronically minded and he said, you probably just blown the transformer out. So we opened the machine up, found what transformer it was, went to JCAR Audio, got a replacement transformer that matched all of the, whatever it is, the... Oh, there was a technical term that James taught me and I've forgotten. But anyway, we did match what it was um, and we installed it and I, it, James soldered it and I watched and then we put an Australian wall socket on, turned it back on, I mean, plugged it back in, turned it back on and sure enough, the guy is fine. Now, there's two tape decks. I've got a tape in here. There's, a, there's still an issue that I need resolved. So this next to it is my amplifier here. Now I normally listen to music or watch TV or whatever with around about, it's actually not, it's usually about minus 45, minus 41 dB. That's the level that normally cranks out a nice sound level from this machine. Now watch what happens when I use this guy. I play a tape. It's playing. Counter's moving. The audio can't hear jack. So got to crank it right up. By the way, that's what we're listening to. So that's maximum, and that is wrong, 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 wrong. It shouldn't be... I don't know what's going on now. You shouldn't have to crank this up that loud. And also, I know it's a problem because... Let's just stop that. On this unit, there's a USB output, which is how you dump these, the... Um, wave files to your computer and that's getting the tiniest amount of volume as well you've got to crank the gain right up and you only get a tiny little smidgen so the question which i'm also raising on my regular vlog but i'm doing it here on the daily vlog because it feels like i started this on the daily vlog and i should conclude it to anyone out there who is mechanically minded uh, technologically and um, electronically minded is there anything else in these machines that i could have blown to when I put that wrong power through it. Like, I mean, if the transformer blows, isn't that it? Like you can't, nothing else from there. I mean, this thing's only 110 US, 120 US, probably close to 200 bucks Australian. Uh, am I wasting my time fixing it? Does anyone want it? Anyone that wants it that can fix it? If you fix it, you can have it. Once I finish digitizing these, I'll give it to you because I don't need it after that. I just bought it to do this and I've ruined it. <laughs> Uh, but Amazon shouldn't have shipped me a US version. What the hell was wrong with that?